All right. Let me start out before I get into uh, the subject of this video, um, talking about uh, where this channel is going to kind of go. Um, it's still new, so, you know, uh, so far it seems like more people have interest in uh, my like martial arts self-defense training type videos. So I probably will definitely, you know, I'll, I will continue to to make those. Um, I may, may may possibly make more of those than anything else, uh, just because it seems like there's more interest for that. However, um, I will continue to make videos on uh, every thing that I have that I think has to do with survival. When I think of, like I say before, when I think of survival. I think of survival to me, survival training to me, that way of thinking is anything that keeps you alive, you know. So it could be martial arts training, it could be uh, just general physical fitness training, diet, uh, it could be wilderness training like most survival channels are. Uh, awareness there's just so many different areas um, so that's so far the direction that I'm going so um, but on today's topic though I want to talk about water and now everybody tells you already drink plenty of water yada yada same thing and that's true you should always make sure you're getting your, your daily amount of water in. But there's something else I discovered um, about a year ago that's a very simple thing you can do um, that can make some definite positives for you. Uh, that is drinking water just as soon as you wake up in the morning. I mean, immediately. Don't, you know, go walk the dog or go have breakfast, nothing. Just as soon as you, before you even, like, get up going out of the bed, just have some water sitting there on the side of the bed and, uh, and get it down. And when I say drink it, I mean, be honest with yourself. <laughs> don't, don't just take a sip or take one drink and be done with it. That's not, that's not going to do it. Now, I, you know, you'll hear people say that talk about doing this method, um, different amounts of water, you know, uh, around 16 ounces, which is 500 milliliters, somewhere in that neighborhood. That's about the average. You could do slightly less, you could do more, but, you know, like I said, just be honest with yourself and actually drink some water continuously. Just if you have to chug it, chug it whatever, get the water down, and um, if you do this, you will get, there's a lot of positives you get out of it, and for one thing, you know, you're, as you sleep, you're, you are being, becoming dehydrated, when you wake up in the morning, you're dehydrated, um, not to an extreme, of course, but you are dehydrated, so it's rehydrating you, and, um, also, you know, doing this, you will notice a difference, like if you have uh, constipation or something, that, that definitely helps your, your digestive system, you know, you are uh, getting some water back into your digestive system, and, um, and also it will help with, uh, like, acid in the stomach. If you're someone that has an, like, um, acid reflux kind of issue, It'll help with this. It'll lower the acid some. It's basically just diluting it. So, um, and if you're like me, what I do, I, you know, when I get up, I drink my water, I go eat breakfast, um, I go work out, and so I like to get my workout done early in the morning. Um, not you can't always do that, you know, but if you are a person that can. Um, then I think that's best. Um, 
that that's goes into a whole nother video though on why all the reasons why but for one thing you're just fresh still you know so you still have that like just rested energy going on and everything um so it will definitely help you with that because you want to be hydrated before you work out right um really before you're doing any strenuous physical activity you want to be sure you're hydrated but if you're lifting weights and doing strength training it is very important that you are hydrated you will notice a difference in your training you know if you try if you're someone who's like trying to lean out or something like that you'll notice when you're dehydrated you are not going to be as strong or as energetic as you are when you are hydrated so that's something to keep in mind there's just so many things about making sure you're staying hydrated that that is very important you think clear because your brain needs that you know your brain needs the hydration uh now water alone does not hydrate you water is just a part of it but the water, drinking the water also cleanses you, so it'll clean you out some. Uh, but water alone does not hydrate you, you know. That's, that's something you have to have the, all the other ele the electrolytes in there, some electrolytes anyway, to help you out. Salt, you know, um, magnesium, potassium, stuff like that. You need those things to actually be hydrated. So... It's just something to try that's, once again, I like anything that's simple, that's cost-effective, no loss. Once again, this is something very easy anybody can do. Uh, it's not going to cost you anything, really. Uh, so just try it, you know, maybe try it one, try more than a day, you know, try it a few days, see if it works for you, see if you can do it. It's... So there are mornings it's hard to just wake up and get that water down fast, but yeah, you can do it. You can do it, and it will pay off. Um, so you know, give it a try. And um, I also, I as I said, I also now have buy me a coffee on my YouTube, and I have. Uh, um, subscribe star on my bit shoot. I am on both platforms and I plan on expanding a, a little bit more. I'm not gonna get on too many platforms, but um, so uh, like, subscribe. I would even just like I said, that's that's a big one for me. Just like and subscribe. I'm happy. <laughs> so uh, like, subscribe, and um, I will see you on the next one.